Use the means of today to reach the people of today. The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Bishops of the Philippines speaks about their apostolic letters and exhortations to all Catholic Christians. Today, the Catholic Bishop Conference of the Philippines or CBCP, choose this year as the year of the clergy and religious persons, as a part of the program in preparation for celebration of the 500 years of faith in the Philippines. Mga egsuon ko niya kang Kristo, maayong buntag ka natong kanan. Parayon ta sa paghisgot, kawahin sa pagpangluto sa mga Kristiyano sa atong simbahan. Sumala pa sa sulat ni Santo Papa Francisco, siya nagkanayon, Kaninyong mga minahal kong mga iksuon, kinsa may kagun nga nagsaksi kang Isus diya sa yuta sa sahad, ang gibulahan sa ginoo nga mao ang atong kahupayan o paglao mao si Kristo mismo. Giyawha ko kamu nga magpabilin nga haduol diha kaniya, sa mag mga sanga sa paras, diha sa kasiguruhan nga walay kasakit, kalisud o pagpanglutos ang makapahimulag ka nato nga to kaniya. Sumala sa sulat ni San Pablo sa Taga Romano, Kapitulo 8, Versikulo 35. Hinaol na kining mga pagsulay nga inyong nasinati karun, magpakusog sa inyong pagtuo o pagkamatinudanon sa kadausa kaninyo o alam kaninyong tanan. Sa pagkaw sa pamaigsuon, diri lang kita kutob, kita ta sa sunod domingo, dalang salamat o may buntag sa tanan. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago Senor, Stu and Nancy Santiago and Family, APM Ad and Promo Management, Alex P. Montañez and Family, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Abrilie, Tilly Now Tracking Services, Dabo Dorian Laundry Services Company, Protasio Takandong, Chardin, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Consolidated Plywood Industry Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Purita and Lorenzo and Family, Attorney Ellie and Veronica Britannia and Family. Quillan's Food House, PSST Botijang Shop, Brother Henry and Lolita Evangelista and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lucas B. Datoy and Family, Dr. Carol John and Mary Grace Britannia and Family, William and Family. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, With Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, Offers and volunteers of the Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring group, Tagum City National Comprehensive High School, parents, teachers, and students, headed by the principal, Roger A. Martinez of Manquilam, Tagum City. Thanksgiving intentions of Dr. Carlos Tan and family, Eugenio Lopez and family, Tess Ihada, Roger A. Martinez, Mrs. Jonathan M. Bahinting, Mr. Ronnie Mallorca, Parents Teachers Association of Tagum City National Comprehensive High School, 
Esper S. Cabaluna, Lazaro J. Suelio and family, Fernando S. Rosa and family, Desiree P. Navares, Mr. and Mrs. Randy B. Hativa, Annaline L. Ladroma, Mr. and Mrs. Fidel Painagan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Noe Gleo, Ida A. Sumaya, Emma V. Fernando, Mr. and Mrs. Bertrand and Buyao, Carla A. Foronda, Engineer and Mrs. Nelson E. Fernando, Anesita A. Lumamba, Mr. and Mrs. Antonio Soriano and family, Roger and Grace Laguna and family, Jack and Josephine Senate, Juanito B. Garcia, Earl Owen Aala, and Florence Alejandre. Birthday intentions of Romeo Camelotes, Recovery and Healing of Jermin Chu, Rodolfo Estera, Emil Sison, Ernie Evangelista, and Henry Evangelista. For the eternal repose of Milagros, Luciana, Elpidio, Adelaida, Prudencia Samalinog, Dora Raagas, Claudio Montañez, Julia Leopoldo, Ralph Roger Laguna, Florencia Gumagay, and all benefactors of the Pauline's RTV programs. Prayer for the sick. Lord and Father, God without end and almighty, through your grace, you gave us strength and help us in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people. Deliver them from their sicknesses and restore them to good health so that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Good morning. Come and see the reply of Jesus to the question of the disciples of John. They stayed with him, but only for a short while. The first disciple came. They saw, and one of them was convinced. What exactly they saw, we do not know, but it was enough to send one of them. Andrew, rushing to his own brother Simon and telling him that the man with whom Andrew stayed was definitely the Christ. Today's message, to come and see, applies for those who through us may come to believe in the Good Shepherd as well. By living as true Christians, we renew also our being apostle. The presider of this Holy Mass is Father Albert Bernal, SSP, the Society of St. Paul, Catalunan Grande, Davao City. The choir during the Mass is the League of Young Voices of Tagum City National Comprehensive High School. Let us joyfully celebrate the Banquet of Love. Please stand as we sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels of saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
Samuel slowly recognizes God's call with the help of Eli. This reminds us that no one can follow the Lord with the, without having been called by Him. The first reading. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you. Eli said, Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am. You called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. The Word of the Lord. Is 
my delight And your law is within my heart Hear, O my Lord I come to do your will I announced your justice Restrain my lips as you, oh Lord, know. Hear, O oh my Lord, I come to do your will. The Apostle Paul reminds us, the Corinthians, that their bodies were not redeemed for sin, but for the Lord. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord. And the Lord is for the body God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ but whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him avoid immorality Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify the Lord in your body the word of the lord thanks be to god Be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, what are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which is translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, 
was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own bro brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Kaipas, which is translated Peter. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear friends, from Tagum with love. I know you are from Tagum, and that I know that you are in love with the Lord. That's why I say Tagum with love. Where do we go when we want to have some information? Where do we, what do we do when we have to, to have an information? I know very well that you know the answer of this. In today's technology, the options and the choices are limitless. Maraming paraan, maraming dahilan. Marami tayong mapagkukunan sa anumang informasyon na kinakailangan. For some, it is just as simple as uh, pushing the button of their cell phones or smartphones. For some, you may, be, you may Google it and you will have some information that very time. Or maybe simply watch on TV the news. Dito sa ABS-CBN, meron tayong maayong buntag Mindanao and the TV Patrol. You could have information with that. But regardless of our source, though, we need to know what we are looking for if we need an information. We know what our direction in seeking for that information. Sure, you can type just a few uh, letters or words and hope that the digi digital search engine would uh, catch on the idea and give you the information. But for the best results of our searching, we have to have some sense of direction in our seeking. Hindi lang pwedeng magsasabi ka sa computer, okay, anong, gusto kong malaman kung ano ang word na phrase. Maraming phrase, lalo na pag tayong mga bisaya. No? Merong phrase na nagpipraise ka sa Panginoon, meron ding phrase na phrase yung ano, kaya kung hindi mo alam ang hinahanap mo, then you will never have an information of what you want to have an information with. That's why it's it really impossible for us because if not, you'll be left out to wander aimlessly and unsatisfied with the information you will have. Yes, my dear friends, the quest of information seems to, to be common to us all. And even through the ages. In today's gospel, the Sunday's gospel, we find the story of searchers, seekers, seeking to find the Lord, to find the way of God. They had been followers of John the Baptist, the radical renegade from the wilderness, who said, when Jesus passed by, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. These two disciples of John live his side and then seek and follow Jesus. And there's the question that we have to have. When Jesus turned around and saw them following him, he said, What are you looking for? Ano bang hinahanap natin sa panahon ngayon? Ano ba yung mga hinahanap ng ating damdamin? Ano bang iniisip natin, hinahanap natin? These are the questions that these disciples have, and these two disciples maybe were looking for an adventure of their lives. Maybe they want a new experience in their lives. Maybe they were looking to make a difference in their lives by following Jesus, by following an itinerant preacher, a founder of miracles indeed. They want to follow him. And if you come to think about it, my dear brothers and sisters, we too, in one time or another, in one way or another, 
had been seeking the questions ourselves. We ourselves also asked, what are we looking for? Because today, we look for identity. We look for purpose. We look for the meaning of life and the healing of our souls. When we are looking for redemption, we are looking for love, we are looking for life itself. And the world, you know, has many questions, uh, many answers and solutions for this. But even this wave of answers and solutions cannot satisfy our longing because in the end, what we have are not big ones for the answers we want to have. Para sa atin, minsan, ang mundo pwedeng makapagpapaligaya sa atin, but still, hindi lubos na makapagpapaligaya sa atin. That's why, indeed, we are seekers. And the famous uh, uh, theological phrase when I was uh, in theology was that our faith is seeking understanding and understanding is seeking faith. Today, we are also seeking this. That's why with today's gospel, Jesus said, simply, what are you looking for? Kung ano ba talaga, kung sino ba talaga siya? And sabi niya, come and see. Just simple as that. How could it be just simple as that? Come and see. Instead of launching into uh, many lectures and giving lengthy uh, readings, he invites them to a relational and active way of coming and seeing what he has in store for his disciples. Marami sa atin, we are also invited, just like Samuel in our first reading, he was invited by the Lord to be of his service. At first, he did not really understand who's calling him. But at the third time, when Eli learned that the Lord was calling Samuel, he said, this is what you have to say. You should reply, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. We too are invited. We don't have, they are invited. They don't have to push themselves in. They don't have to take the test to be disciples of Jesus. They are welcome to come and see what Jesus is uh, telling them and what Jesus is offering them. Jesus indeed is inviting this disciples and he is also inviting us today. Come and see into an exper exper experiential uh, learning program or process. The first part is just like the school. It's the instruction part. And just like the school, the second part is the field trip. Gustong gusto kong mag-field trip dati, no? Kasi marami kang magagawa sa field trip, no? Kahit hindi ka nakikinig sa tour, marami kang magagawa sa field trip. Barkada mo, makakausap mo, na hindi ka sinasabihan ng teacher mo na tumahimik ka. Pero sa field trip, kahit maingay, walang ingay ang teacher. That's why this is as simple as that. Come and see, learn from me. Be with me. Be in relation with me. This is what Jesus is telling us. This is what our, we are invited for in today's gospel and when we accept it, like Samuel, we accept this possibility of the big things that will be happening in our lives, and our lives will surely be changed. Pag alam mo, pag tinanggap mo na at nakita mo na, sabihin nila, nakita na nila ang hinahanap nila sa buhay nila, then you will come to discover that your life would change. It would never be the same again. When we spend time with our relationship with God, His Word, love, and grace, we cannot help but be changed. Hindi pwedeng maging normal tayo. Pag naging changed tayo, nagiging super special tayo sa Panginoon at sa tingin ng ibang tao. And this, my brothers and sisters, these revelations may be big or they may be small. They may take a while to discover or it, it's, uh, it's quickly uh, discovered. 
but the, 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 but surely God is working within us. God is working in this community. God is working in our world today. And he wants us just to come and see what he has uh, been working of in today's world. That's why when we are uh, with him, we take time with him. It is hard not to be inspired and to be transformed ourselves. But know this, the end of the story, of our story, is just another beginning. Because the pattern of seeking, inviting, and revelation is not just a one-time process or experience. It is a cycle that becomes the way of being and living as his disciples of Christ. It is something that happens over and over and over again. Kahit na magkamali ka, kahit na bumagsak ka, the thing is, you have to rise up and do it again. To be changed and to be transformed and walk along with God, even if we are wounded. Just as the disciples emerged uh, from their first lesson in the house where God, uh, Jesus was staying, Jesus eager inspired them to eagerly tell this to others. Ibig sabihin, sabihin nyo na rin sa kasama nyo. Come and see what the Lord has made for me. Kung anong nangyari sa buhay ko. And this is one way of inviting others to the Lord. Pag yung nakita ng isang tao ang buhay mo at naging change ka at naging transform ka, then people will follow and will come and see what they are invited for by the Lord. It's as simple as inviting someone else to come and see what the Lord has done for you. Perhaps with this, the question for us now is more than what are you looking for? But rather, the question is, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Come and see for ourselves what God has in store for us. And just like our responsorial psalm, we'll be able to say and to sing, I will be doing your will. May God bless us all. I believe in God. Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things physical and distant, I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and unpaid, consumption and with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the, the Holy Spirit and he became man, suffered death and was continued. Under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God calls each of us to follow and serve Him. Let us humbly offer our prayers to the Father so that we may be filled with His wisdom to discern and answer His call. Full of confidence, we pray, graciously hear us, Lord. Graciously hear us, Lord. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons be filled with joy and strength when they feel that they are short of faith, in moral ascendancy, and even in basic necessities, we pray. Graciously hear us, Lord. May civil and political leaders 
discern what is truly beneficial for our people, and may they be given the determination to do it. We pray. Grace be to us, Lord. May the poor, the sick, the jobless, and the marginalized experience liberation and support from their communities and loved ones. We pray. Grace be to us, Lord. May married couples and those preparing for marriage draw from you the wisdom, patience, and strength necessary to make their marriage a reflection of your love and joy for your people. We pray. Grace be to us, Lord. May those who are discerning to enter religious life be led closer to Jesus and have willingness to detach themselves from worldly things. We pray. Grace be to us, Lord. May those who died ahead of us, like the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the Pauline's radio and TV apostolate, that God may welcome them in heaven. We pray. Grace be to us, Lord. Heavenly Father, you call us to participate in the life of your Son. In the Eucharist, fill us with joy of your salvation. Give us courage and strength to witness you to your love and protection during these difficult times. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for sure goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of him in hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whoever, whenever, whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For our compassion, out of compassion for the waywardness of, that is ours, he humbly, humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy the Father's gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, Archbishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Sisters and brothers, behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I not the Lord, and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Pour in us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is God who is rich in mercy when Jesus Christ has revealed to us as Father. This book entitled, Dives in Misericordia, an encyclical letter of St. John Paul II, is a very good reading in preparation for Lent. This is available at the Daughters of St. Paul Media Center, located at Bolton Street, Davao City. This is only 45 pesos. Thank you, and have a blessed Sunday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ.